when the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictated in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. He had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus, to perform the custom of the law in the regard to him, he took him in his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today is a great celebration because we celebrate the presentation of our Lord at the temple. And also, this celebration was also known as the purification of Mary, the presentation of our Lord Jesus Christ at the temple. But we have to ask the same question I said when I preach about baptism of the Lord. We have to ask the same question. Why did the Lord need it to be baptized? In the same way, we can ask that same question. Why did Jesus need it to be presented at the temple? Why did Mary need it to purify herself? Why all this? She was conceived without sin, immaculate conception. And also Jesus, he was perfect man. He was God. He need no presentation. Our Lady needed no purification. And why did they did so? Because they accomplished what it was commanded, what it was demanded in the law of Moses. They accomplished everything. They didn't skip any ritual. They did everything. In fact, the Bible says that Jesus was equal to us in everything, except in sin. He did not sin, but in everything else. He was equal to us. But what can we learn from this celebration, the presentation of our Lord at the temple? First of all, we need to have clear that also what we just read in the gospel is also an epiphany. Because we see Simeon. He said, You are God. He recognizes that he is Christ, that he is God. Now, you and I, do we recognize Jesus Christ as our God, as our Savior, as our everything, as our Redeemer? An epiphany, a manifestation, a great manifestation. We need to have this clear that the Lord wants to manifest in our lives. We need to let the doors open so He can come into our lives. He can come into our hearts. He wants to transform us. He wants He want us to know His love for us. He loved you. He loved us. And He showed us His love by dying 
on the cross by giving his life for you, for me, and for everyone. He died for all, but not all accept Jesus Christ as his God. That's the big difference. We have to accept him, and we have to recognize also this epiphany, this manifestation that the Lord wants to manifest himself to us. He wants to reveal himself to us in our daily lives. We need to be careful. We need to watch out because the Lord manifests himself to us continually, every day, in our neighbors, in those people that are most need, in the poor, in the children. He manifests himself. He reveals himself through many situations in our daily life. And the presentation in the temple. But we can also say that this presentation of the temple also was because he needed to go and present himself at the temple. Now, you and I also need to be presented at the temple, the true temple, which is Jesus Christ, the temple in heaven. He is the true temple. And we need to present himself. But how am I going to present to the Lord right now? Am I worthy to present myself in front of him and say, Look, Lord, I need to repent. I need to repent and recognize my sins. He is willing to forgive me my sins. But I need to recognize that I need conversion that I need a transformation, that God loves me, and because out of love, He wants me to convert and to turn towards Him. The temple of the Lord in heaven. So I need to purify myself so I can be presentable and I can say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. And also, we read, in St. Paul, he says that we are temple of the Holy Spirit. You are temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. We need to watch out. We need to look out for our body. We don't need to harm ourselves. We need to be ready to present ourselves to the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. What do you want me to do for you? I want to love you. I want to show you that I care for you, that I love you, and that I want to grow into a bigger relationship with you. And let us also pray and ask the intersection of Our Lady so He can bring us closer to Her Son, to Jesus. Let us pray to Her. And let us always ask her to intercede for us. Lord, thank you, because you have made me a temple of the Holy Spirit.